So tune in and watch your breath move in your body. Settle into your space. And as you settle into your space, imagine a bright blue sky all around you. And the warmth of the sun. Imagine the warmth of the sun's rays on your skin. blue sky and warm sun, how that warms the mind and softens the mind and softens the breath. Let the power of the sunshine in your mind make your breath flow easy, your skin warm and soft. The warmth of the sunshine easing your joints so your joints are lubricated and comfortable. Maybe you even just feel that your shoulders softened a little there. The muscles melting and relaxed. Feel the warmth of your cells light up every the warmth of the sun, sorry, light up every cell in your body. Every cell. From the crown of your head, down through your face. All of the cells around your jaw melting softly. Coming down through the neck and the shoulders, every cell. Becoming warmer, softer more alive, all the way through the spine, cells around in your belly, all of your organs, all the way through your pelvis, Cells in your fingers, your hands, your arms, the cells of your toes, your feet, your legs, until every cell is bathed in warm sunlight. Feel the sunshine above you, glowing over you, so you're alive and healthy and well in every single cell in your body. Watch the breath flow in and out, already smoother, freer, calmer. Every cell warmed a glow with life, healthy, radiant, alive and well. Maintain this full flow of breath and warmth and softness through your body as we begin movement. If you want to transfer yourself to all fours tabletop position, if you have any kind of padding, a blanket or a towel, that may be nice for your knees. <clears throat> and we'll begin movement in cat and cow or swirls or patterns or anything that you think, oh, that feels really nice for my back and nice for all of the cells of my body, but this is a pleasure to move. Hmm. 
if you like your cat cow, letting the belly drop on the inhale and the chest lift. And feeling the push of the hands as you round the back on exhale. Oh, there's a good place to yawn and stretch the back. The inhale, the belly drops, the back arches, and the exhale rounds the back, chin to chest. Mm, give it a little press and a sigh. Let's try two or three more of those. The inhale, the belly drops, chest lifts, and the exhale, round in, chin to chest. Mm. Hmm. And you might pause with <clears throat> cat back, really rounding into that upper bra strap area. Don't worry if you don't have a bra. And then just take a breath or two in the space between the shoulder blades, the upper back. Then sink your hips back to your heels, child's pose. Let your arms walk forwards. Let your head rest down. You might nuzzle your third eye, your forehead into the mat and just give it a little rub and almost like a shake of your head. Oh, why do I worry? Why do I do that? <laughs> Let it go. Take some breaths, not just into the back of the body between the shoulder blades, but right deep down into the base of your ribs, the base of the lungs, the back of the lungs. And I have a tune come to mind, and that's the Bob Marley song, and that's everything's going to be, <laughs> everything's going to be all right, everything's going to be all right. Give yourself one of those sighs, everything's going to be all right. Let's move back and forth between this child's pose and some kind of a tabletop position, or go through a little cat-cow, or hinge forward a little more. Flowing back and forth, hinging or waving the spine. Letting the breath flow in whichever way that feels good to you. Mm, everything's going to be all right. <laughs> back into tabletop position. Like a kickstand, take your right foot and shin off to the side, off your mat. Line up your left leg alongside, so you're in a side plank position, a baby side plank. <clears throat> Support with your right fingers, your right hand or your right fist, so that's comfortable. And then begin to move your left shoulder. Let it sway, move and play. And you're not really just moving the shoulder, but you're opening up the whole of that side of the rib cage. Ah, oh, that's good. <coughs> Invite the left arm over the head and stretch out. Let your head look up if that feels okay, or intersperse with movements to look down or around. So the neck can be freed. And let's find two or three really fulsome, delicious breaths here. Ah, enlivening all of the cells of your rib cage, your lungs. Mm. Come back to tabletop position. And I'll do that on the other side. So slide out the left shin and foot to the side. Send your right leg back and begin to Settle into a, a side plank, moving the right arm and breathing. So always checking in, are you still flowing with breath? Mm. Take this to wherever feels just right for your expression of side plank. It could be the arm right over the ear, but maybe not necessarily. And then it allows some movement in your head to find right where you want to hold your head for your full expression of this pose. 
Back to breath, moving in and out, especially into the right rib cage, right lung, cells vibrant and healthy. Mm. Bring yourself back into tabletop position. We're ready to move with a little bit more flow. I hope you're ready for that. <laughs> of course you are. <clears throat> Send your right leg back and behind you. Take a breath in here. Breathe out, hug knee in towards nose. Really empty the breath, empty, empty, empty. Breath in, extend the leg back. Breath out, hug in, round your back as you do this. One more of those, send the leg back. Exhale, hug knee to nose and step the right foot forward to the thumb. Nice to have blocks if you have them. <clears throat> Walk your front foot further forwards, coming towards a runner's stretch and move back and forth between a runner's stretch and a slight leaning in towards a lunge. What are you noticing? Front hip, back hip, back of the front leg, <laughs> all the good stuff, warming it up. And slide your foot down, front foot down, root through the front foot, steady with the back knee, draw up the front of the spine, lifting up to a low lunge. Hello lunge. <laughs> Take your left wrist with your right hand and pull it across toward the right. Imagine breathing in through your left fingertips all the way down that side of the body, shining light, opening, twinkling cells all the way down that side. Ah. Bring the hands back into Anjali Mudra at the heart and take a twist toward the right. You might open out with the arms or to cactus arms or be in your prayer position. Spaciousness, light. Come all the way back in towards centre, bring it back to all fours and child's pose. <clears throat> back to tabletop, same sequence on the other side, so set up as you need to, and let's move with breath. Take a breath in, let the left leg extend behind you, reach it out. Exhale, hug it in as you round, 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 round and push into your hands. Breath in, reach back, breath out, hug in and round. One more, breathe in, send the leg back, breath out, hug and round, step left foot forwards, Blocks if you like them, walk the front foot a little further forwards, coming towards a runner's stretch or runner's stretch and moving back and forth between a lunge. Nice and easy. So you check in not just with breathing but also check in with the jaw. So I noticed my jaw was a little tight there, so to open the hips, relax the jaw. Ha! Ah. What are we feeling? What are we sensing? And slide the front foot down to the ground, root through the front foot, root through the back knee, rise all the way up to your low lunge. Take the right wrist and pull it across toward the left. Oh. Feel the fabric of your body really stretch and lengthen and create space for wellness for breath. Take the hands to Anjali Mudra, take a twist toward the left. And then any expression of this, it could be that you open your wings or not, if that feels tight on the shoulders. Can you breathe? Can you stay present? Come back in towards centre, hands touch down, tabletop position, downward dog. <clears throat> we'll give the legs a little pedal out to pace out. How's that feeling at the backs of the legs, the Achilles, <laughs> good morning cells in the back of the, in the back of the knees, the back of the legs. Stretch the cells in the back of your legs and your knees. So 
if that sounds a little crazy, I mean, you do have cells there, so <laughs> give them a stretch. And then we'll walk the feet to the hands or the hands to the feet. Come into forward fold with a nice bent leg arrangement. Maybe just shake out the head, sway the head a little side to side, the rib cage swaying. You can shake out a little bit with the jaw and the jowls. Take a nice bend into the legs, rise all the way up, morning yawning, opening the arms out. Ah. Take a breath in, let the arms rise up. Take a side bend toward the right. Mm, yawn it out, like an accordion is being played with your ribs there. Come back up to centre and take it to the other side and yawn. Oh. Come back into centre, forward fold, fingertips to shins, breath in, lift up halfway, Adha Uttanasana, breath out, fold, ha, sigh, breath in, lift halfway, breath out, fold, ha, breath in, lift all the way, rising up, and then bringing the hands to the heart, Samastitihi, so, Pause here for a moment, feel groundedness, and yet lift. A lifting up from the ground beneath you, but a sinking down and trusting into the ground, into your space. Any intention or affirmation, I trust. Perhaps feel a warm sun bathe over your cells. Warming all your joints, warming your muscles. And we're ready to move in a little bit faster way into a flow. So we want those nice, warm, flexible muscles. <laughs> Forward fold. Lift halfway. Forward fold, step your right foot to the back of the mat. Right knee down, lift to Anjane Asana. Good morning, feel the warmth on your cells, on your body. Hands touch down, plank pose, and it could be knees down or up, your choice. Lower down to the ground, lift up to locust pose, Shalabhasana. Hands touch down, downward dog. Walk your feet to your hands, forward fold. Roots strongly through the legs. Rise up to chair pose. Oh, good morning. Everybody loves chair pose. I know you love this. You're so strong and resilient. Feel that warmth go through your body. Is that the warmth of the sun? <laughs> Forward fold. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Knee down, rise up, Anjane Asana. Hands touch down. Plank pose, your variation. Lower slowly to the ground. Lift up to a gentle cobra this time. Keep shoulders away from ears, no earrings for your shoulders. <laughs> Downward dog. Walk your feet to your hands, forward fold. Bend into your legs, chair pose. Take the hands to the heart, take a twist toward the left, chair pose twist. Hi everyone. <laughs> twist it the other way. Keep your breath flowing. Maybe take a little smile so you're not clenching your jaw. Turn back into centre, forward fold, shake it out, move it out. <sighs> Root strongly through the legs, rise all the way up. Interlace your fingers, point a finger up, steeple mudra, bend into the legs and then make some nice big circles with your ribs. Big, big circle. 
Like you're rolling out and cleaning the inside of a barrel. Oh. So if this is not feeling great on your back, do less or do what you can. Go in the other direction. Make sure that bend in the legs supports your spine health. Yes. Okay, release the arms down. Shake it out a little, shake out the hands. Move the feet from side to side. Pause, mountain pose, has the energy. Do you feel the warmth of your cells from movement? Yeah. <laughs> We're ready for another round with a few variations. Come to the top of the mat, forward fold. Step back to downward dog. Keep a bend into your limbs, including your arms. It'll strengthen them. And then send your right leg up towards the sky. Stretch it out. On an exhale, hug knee to nose. Step your right foot forwards to your right thumb. Bend into both legs. Move back and forth. So Blocks nice here to give you access to that. Takes a little more core strength and a little more connection to the ground to bring ourselves up in towards a high lunge from here. So get that nice bend, draw up the front of the spine, whoop, and come into a high lunge. You did it, you made it. I know you did. <laughs> We're gonna do five fists of fire, why? to build strength, to build that fire, to feel that warmth in the cells and to strengthen your legs and your core. Okay, so on an exhale, bend the back knee straight down. Really exhale. <sighs> Breath in, extend. Breath out. <sighs> Here's where your ujjayi breath will be really helpful. <sighs> One more, you can do it. Long breath. Then stretch it out. Back heel reaches back. What are you feeling? What are you sensing? Scooch the back leg a little closer. Come all the way to balance on the front leg. Play by taking the back leg back, a little or a lot. Shift your weight forward, come balance. I'm going to do two more of these. Notice that your shoulders stay really relaxed as you come up to balance. You can even soften through the hands, one more. Pause in your balance, tree pose. <clears throat> Any variation. Blue sky is all around you, sunshine on your body. Let that soften your breath. Warmth, a glow. <laughs> breath flowing, breath moving. Step it down, shake it out a little. Oh, how's it going there? <laughs> one side done, we've got one more side to go. Yeah, I like seeing lots of different moves there. Be inspired to play a little, wiggle a little, shake out. And then we're ready for side two. That's like in the olden days where you had an LP, right? Or a <laughs> record. It's time for side two, the B side, flip side. So come to the top of your mat. Mountain pose. Soften into the knees, fall forward. And then step your left foot back. Hmm. No, don't do that. Downward dog. <laughs> that was a nice, easy transition. Elegantly handled, I'm sure you would agree. Send your left foot up to the sky, reach it out, stretch it out. Ooh. 
Exhale, hug in, knee towards nose and step your left foot forward. Adjust your back leg so you're not too much on a tightrope. And then figure out through your body, through your leg strength, through the connection to the ground, how to bring yourself all the way up to high lunge. Five fists to fire. Exhale, bend the back knee. Nice and long. Breath in, reach the back leg back. Exhale, bend. Two more, you can do it. That's one. Nice long exhale. And then stretch it out. Scooch the back leg a little bit closer. Let's play with the balance. Come onto the front leg. Step it back. Stretch it out a little. Shift your weight forward. Feel that foot really anchoring down, pulling the energy up to bring you up. One more, reach it back. Step it in, hug it in. Your expression of tree pose. How's this side? Easy, challenging, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Maybe the branches are reaching towards the sunlight. Maybe you hear the birds sing. I can hear the birds sing. And they might land on one of my branches. <laughs> Warmth of the sunshine. Step it down, shake it out. And we're, all, we're heading towards a straddle. So a wide straddle um, facing the long edge of your mat. Make your adjustments there. And just move back and forth, bending one leg, straightening the other. Play with turning one foot out, one foot in, in warrior type setup formation. So as if you're going into a warrior position and you're adjusting, so front knee will bend over front ankle. Whoops, ah. And then we're going to do this toward the right, stay toward the right, open out into warrior two. So belly button facing forward to the long edge of the mat, arms Strong and resilient, but not trying too hard in the shoulders to support that. Turn your head to look forward at the front hand. And for this one, palms up. Flip your palms up as if you're saying, yeah, sunshine, I'm ready to receive you in all of my cells, my fingers, my hand, my arms. Slide the back hand down towards the back thigh and lift up into a peaceful warrior. And breath, let it flow. Lead the right elbow toward the right thigh, side angle pose. Take one more vacation to Peaceful Warrior. Feel the strong legs support you. Back into side angle, Pasvakanasana. Bring the hands down in towards the inside of your front foot, adjust so that you can put your back knee down, come into lizard pose on this side. So either hands down onto the floor or to a block or forearms, you can nudge the front knee out a little to the side, rock a little back and forth. We'll pause and hold in just the spot where you can find sensation, which you can then dissolve with the breath. 
So cells warming in all of those little areas, like they need extra warmth. <laughs> Maybe in your imagination you can hear the birds playing such a merry tune. I don't need my imagination, the birds really are playing such a merry tune. <laughs> Find your way to Downward Dog. <clears throat> and if you need a child's pose break, please take it. I know you're smart and you can do that if you need it. For those who'd like to instead, take a little vinyasa flow, come forwards to plank pose. Lower down to the ground. Lift to your back bend. What would you like? Cobra, up dog, whatever you need. Downward dog. And then walk the hands toward the feet this time. Rise all the way up. Bring hands to heart. Just pause for a moment. Feel heartbeat. Feel breath, feeling the warmth in your body, your joints, your muscles, your heart. <laughs> and then we'll take the feet wide again back to our straddle. Bend into one leg, perhaps pause for a moment. Oh, how's the inner thigh doing today? You can tap that out, rub that if you feel any sensation there. And then find that nice wide straddle position, turn the toes out toward the left this time. Adjust the back heel, get the stance just as you like with the distance between the legs for your warrior two. So accommodate yourself, warrior two to the left. Breath flowing. And then palms can flip up, ready to receive the sunshine. Energy through the arms, the fingers, all the way to the heart. Slide your back hand toward the back leg, open, peaceful warrior. Feel peaceful, if you can. Left elbow slides to left thigh, side angle. Grounded strong legs. Peaceful warrior. And one more little vacation to side angle. Bring the hands down now to the inside of the front foot. Back knee settles down. Readjust, reaccommodate. Lizard pose on this side, mm, opening out the front leg, you can be on the pinky toe, edge of the foot, move or hold and experience that warmth of the sunshine melting cells into a fluid easeful place. Downward dog. Give a shake out of the head. And you can either step or jump the feet to the top of the mat. Root through your feet, rise all the way up. 
Ah, and open those arms nice and wide. Feel that big stretch all the way across the chest. Ah, it's time to come down to the floor and have any straps, scarves, belts, or blankets with you. First of all, find your seat. Sit up on your blanket if you need that extra padding. And it's twisty time. So have the right leg in front of you, cross your left leg over. If you want to take your right heel towards your bum, you can do, but not necessary. And twist to the left. <coughs> Twists have a, a spiral kind of effect. So if you imagine your spine spiraling around here, Think of like a shell, a beautiful shell. Watch your breath, see if it's flowing. See all of the cells of your spine being nourished. Blood flowing. Nourishing healthy discs. Healthy vertebrae. Untwirl your twist. Other side, so your left leg extended. I need a little fashion arrangement there. <laughs> right leg across. Take your twist to the right. And you might feel the belly move with breath and moving against the thigh. Shoulders soften, warm sun releasing tension from the neck and shoulders. All is well. Turn back into centre, take the soles of the feet together, bound ankle pose, and you could butterfly the knees a little. Hold the feet if you want to, or take a more diamond shaped pose if that's more accessible. If you do have the feet, it's an excuse to massage the feet. And an excuse for me to notice that even though the colour of my socks is matching, I've got odd socks on. <laughs> so, playing with your feet reveals good information. So take a, a wide straddle here. Again, sit up on a blanket if you feel that you're too rocked onto your tailbone and off your sit bones. If you're not sure about that, you can rock back and forth over the sit bones like they're little wheels. And then turn your body towards the left. So your trunk turns toward the left. If you have a strap, that might be useful to hook around your left foot. If you don't, it doesn't matter. You can just have your hands onto your leg and hinge forward at the hip crease, you're very foldable, feel very foldable. Check in with the breath. A few welcome sighs or flutters of the... Oh. And you might get that extra stretch across the back line of the body by letting the head hang down. Tune into sensation of the jaw, let it go. Let's lift back up. Turn the body to the other side. Just if you have your, so I have my scarf today, but you don't need anything if you just put the hands onto the thigh and you can hinge forward. It's beautiful. Perhaps you can hear the gulls, and the sound of the ocean, and the warm sun bathing all of your skin and all of your cells. Let's let the legs loll to the right, keep them to the right. 
Tune into your right foot and let it slide onto your left thigh, above the knee if you can. And use the foot to pull the leg, ease the leg a little bit more to the right. You might like to explore with where the left arm is. It might even stray a little bit up towards the top of the mat. It might, it might not. Feel the aliveness all the way down the left side of your body, the left rib cage, all the way through the left fingers, left arm. Mmm. Warmth and sunshine. Slide back in towards centre, unhook the foot, let the legs windshield wiper once more, back and forth. Hmm. Let the legs stray across this time to the left. Settle in. Make sure your back is comfy as you're here. And then the left foot, option to slide back over onto the right thigh. And its weight is just hanging into gravity, drawing length and space along the fabric of your right side of your body. Explore where your right arm goes. It might just stray a little higher and you feel the whole of that fabric along the right side, along between the ribs and your pelvis. Get that extra little tug. Nothing too much, just right. And then feel the sunshine beaming from that beautiful big blue sky. Warmth, healing, spacious. Come back in towards centre. Cross your, let's do the left this time, the left ankle over the right leg, pigeon pose. Variations here, you're so welcome to them. You can have the foot on the floor and feel this is already a lovely hip opener. Or you might lift the right foot from the floor, you might hook around the back of the leg. You might stray the right foot to the ceiling. It's up to you, what would feel useful, what would feel good to you. Breath would feel good. <laughs> The fastest way to change your body is to change your mind. So useful thoughts. Ah. My body's easy, my breath is free. Ah. This feels good. I'm okay with life today. Each breath makes me feel even better. <laughs> then we'll bring that back into neutral, both feet on the floor. Extend the legs long, extend the arms long. Now crescent moon yourself towards the right, so your arms and your legs go off towards the right, and you've got a lot of space now into the left side of the ribs, the hips. Breathe a few breaths into there. Lots of space. Come back into centre, slide your arms down, your feet back onto the floor. Cross your right ankle over your left leg, pigeon pose on the right. Find your variations, explore. Does it feel different this side? Mine certainly does this side. Maybe the foot lifts, maybe it doesn't. Maybe the left toes want to stretch to the ceiling, maybe they don't. Can you feel the abdominal wall move with breath? And that's probably the most important thing, so that breath warms your body and soothes your body and your mind.
slide that back down, feet to the floor, and extend the legs, extend the arms overhead, and make a crescent moon shape towards the left. So taking your hands, your feet, your arms, your legs over to make yourself into this beautiful sliver of crescent moon. And breath all the way into the right ribs, the space between your pelvis and your ribs getting longer. Come back in towards center. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Maybe make some small circles there. Feeling the weight shift from one pelvic crest to the other. And your pelvic crest is like a shell holding your organs. You can feel that you're rolling your organs in your pelvis too. And you are. <laughs> you can roll the other way. And then we'll hug the left knee in and extend the right leg long on the mat. Mm, you can give a press of your thigh in toward the belly. If you have a strap, that's nice. Don't fret if you don't, but play with extending that leg up towards the ceiling. Pulse it a few times, so bend it and extend it. And while I do this, I like to hold the back of the thigh and feel my hamstring actually work as I stretch out with a little bit of resistance, as if you're trying to like you've got a, a very low ceiling, you're trying to push the ceiling up and away from you. You can really feel that hamstring. That's great to really get the blood flowing in there and activate the nervous system to say, yep, it's okay to stretch me. It's okay. You can do that. To find any expression of this stretch that you like. I'm kind of rubbing the back there and the back of the knee because it feels nice. Begin to bend into the leg again, take the arms out wide and take your left leg across your body in towards a twist. Settle into whatever variation of this feels good for your back. It might be that the leg doesn't go very far or you might want to take it further, you might support it on something. Settle in. Bring that back in towards centre. Hug both knees in towards your chest. And then slide your left leg long and keep your right knee in. Pause here for a few breaths in this half bellows pose. So as you breathe out, we really feel your empty, empty, empty and bring the knee a little closer. As you breathe in, let the leg float away. Take the back of the thigh, if you have your strap and you want the strap, you can put that on the foot. If you don't, it doesn't matter. We're going to stretch and bend into the leg and feel that activation of the muscles at the back of your leg, your hamstrings and your quads at the front are counteracting, counterplaying, pulsing a little and then find your stretch. Adjust it to where it needs to be. So I'm strapless today for this and feeling the back of the thigh which feels so strong. And bend to the leg again, take the arms out to the side and let the right knee loll over toward the left. It, you can support the foot onto the left leg. It's always mindful here that you don't feel any tension in the back and the back of the pelvis to find the twist just right for you. You might also turn your head to the right. And breathe. So 
So there's a slight change in what we're going to do now. So you don't need to look, just listen and pay attention. I want you to bring yourself onto your left side, supported by your left forearm, so that you're going to come into a quad stretch with your right leg. You might be able to reach for your foot or have a strap or lengthen your right knee down towards the mat. Turn your head to look over your left shoulder. Enjoy your quad stretch here. Lots of space and length all down this side. How to switch to do this on the other side? It's up to you, but you can figure it out. I'm going to come up pivot and roll around to the other side, or you could flip the other way, it's fine, <laughs> we'll get there. Quad stretch on this side. An extra boon I like is to turn to look over the right shoulder and then you've got a little extra space then into the upper chest, into the pecs. Now it's time for Shavasana. Use any props to support you, a blanket underneath your head, whatever you need to make yourself really comfy and cosy. Settling into your space. Oh, you, can, you can be exactly in the space of your home and feel the comfort of your home and the safety of your home or you might like to put yourself with your imagination in a sunshine place. It could be a beach or it could be on soft grass. but feel sunshine across your body. Bathe yourself in light, all of your cells. Scan over the toes, bathe your toes in warm light. The tops of the feet, the shins, the knees, the thighs, coming into the pelvis, the low abdomen. Feel that warm light start to bathe further up your body, over your belly. Over the rib cage, over your lungs and heart. Your shoulders, your neck. Your jaw, your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, your forehead crown of your head and the warmth allows any tension to dissolve deep down 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 to the ground allowing simply for breath to flow like the ocean Every cell in your body vibrant with health. Every cell, trillions of cells.
warm light bathing you in health in wellness in peace of mind in love Begin to find a little movement in fingers and toes, a little movement in the corners of the lips as they gently smile. <laughs> and take your time to rearrange yourself into a seat. And I can see all lovely faces. <laughs> And, um, and we're all reassembled. We have a nice poem from uh, Dana Folds. Poems from the Heart of Yoga. And this one is called Together. Because I'm very glad we're together. <laughs> we call down grace and gaze without wavering into the fires of creation. We find the place where love embraces fear and tears taste like faith. We let our radiance be revealed in laughter and in longing. We hold the whole of life, sweet grapes and bitter, healing herbs. We hold together, we hold until we overflow and offer back the gifts that we've received. The vessel never empties, the growing love between us keeps it filled. If you'd like to bring the hands into Anjali Mudra at the heart and seal this practice with a loving intention for all of the cells of your own body, each other and everyone, health and vibrancy and love and peace. Namaste. Namaste.